game-changing deal on Wall Street today. Microsoft announced plans it'll buy the video game maker Activision Blizzard. It's an all-cash deal worth nearly $70 billion. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Microsoft acquisition of Activision and Blizzard. This one's a doozy for 69 billion dollars microsoft now owns activision blizzard blizzard activision both massive companies blizzard being most well known for world of warcraft activision being most well known for call of duty so what does this mean for the future of these games well on one hand you'd like to think that world of warcraft will see full support from microsoft who also owns windows you know the the pc gaming side of 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 gaming of consoles like the other side of the coin so to speak ideally we'll see more support from microsoft for that game and that could come in the form of some type of battle pass what seems to be the main thing is is world of warcraft coming to game pass uh, which could mean that you could stream world of warcraft on anything uh, i believe uh, xbox game pass is basically available anywhere that you can download the app. So the current developers under Activision include Beanox, Demonware, High Moon Studios, Infinity Ward, Raven Software, Sledgehammer Games, Toys for Bob, and Treyarch. Uh, and if you've played any Call of Duty games, you'll be really familiar with Toys for Bob, especially. Ignore that, that's a joke. Right. Funny how. Just, what? I'm talking about Treyarch, Sledgehammer Games, and Raven Software, and Infinity Ward. We're all very familiar with those four. Uh, they've made some notorious and infamous, but also well-loved and praised Call of Duty games. And obviously the question that comes into play is, will Call of Duty go Xbox exclusive? And there has been talk of that. Uh, that's been a big worry for gamers lately. And luckily, it seems that it won't happen yet, but it'd be dumb of Microsoft not to do it, uh, if we're being honest with ourselves. On IGN's website, it says Call of Duty, Activision reportedly wants to release next three games on PlayStation despite Xbox acquisition. Obviously what this means is Call of Duty will no longer be a PlayStation and Sony prioritized property. Uh, at one point, PlayStation was the place to be for all COD exclusives. You got things first. You usually got to play the game a weekend early. The betas would always drop a week prior. And that's been for quite some time. I think all the way as far back as, as Black Ops 2 potentially, all the way up until Warzone to my knowledge. I didn't play a lot of the more recent ones. Uh, I skipped Call of Duty Vanguard along with what seems like a lot of other people. I don't even know who cared about that game. But that being said, it, it definitely seems like it only makes sense. Uh, when you think of Xbox and their exclusives, you might think of Halo. And I'm not really sure what else comes to mind. Uh, we can definitely look into it though. So the Xbox exclusive games, just at the top of the list uh, when you Google it, is Bleeding Edge, Sunset Overdrive, Starfield, Halo, Sea of Thieves, Gears of War, Forza Horizon, Killer Instinct, The Ascent, Crossfire X, Rare Replay, we've got State of Decay, I mean Warhammer's on PC as well. Anyway, the point is, when you think of Xbox, you think Halo and that's about it. Imagine if you could play Halo and Call of Duty exclusively on your Xbox Series X, your Xbox One X, your Xbox One S. Series S. Whereas, if we look at PlayStation, not only is Sony valued higher, I think it's the highest valued is Sony. Yeah, at 25 billion yearly revenue. Uh, Tencent and then Nintendo and then Microsoft is, is fourth on the list. Okay, so the same reference, we're looking at Sony PlayStation exclusives. Now, there are a larger number. I will say though that a lot of these are not going to be multiplayer, which is a fair argument. However, just listen to what we are working with here. You know, Xbox may have Halo and now could potentially have Call of Duty one day, but PlayStation has Knack, okay? Don't don't even don't even try, Microsoft. They have Knack. You have no power here. 
God of War, Spider-Man, Bloodborne, Horizon, Ghost of Tsushima, Uncharted, Shadow of the Colossus. I'm not actually sure that that one is exclusive either. I think that's available on PC. Shadow of the Colossus was only available on PlayStation. Fair enough. The Last of Us, Days Gone, The Last Guardian, Infamous, Gran Turismo, Persona. Persona's, Persona 5 is definitely available on Switch. Persona 5, excuse me, Persona 5 Strikers is available for the Switch. I guess Persona 5 is exclusive. Anyway, Detroit Become Human, Death Stranding, aka The Walking Simulator. You've got Ratchet and Clank. There's plenty of games for PlayStation that are far more well received by the general public than a lot of what Xbox has going for it. Granted, this is coming from a PlayStation player. I have I only don't have a PS5 because I legit cannot find them anywhere online or in stores. That's not for a thousand dollars for the digital edition. Yes, that's an actual price tag I saw somewhere in a store. So that being said, uh, my bias included, I think from a business perspective, Microsoft made the right call. Uh, they definitely got Activision Blizzard at a discount given all of their scandals happening right now. I, I mean, just Google, uh, <laughs> Google the CEO and just, lo just look into Bobby Kotick and You might be interested to see what you find. So some of the stuff that's been reported about him by uh, some, some fairly credible news sources. And despite Bobby Kotick and who he may or may not be as a person, he stands to take away $375 million from this $69 billion deal. So there's a reason he plans to step down after the, the Microsoft acquisition. Keyword being after. I think that Xbox made the right move uh, only because this will increase their value in the long run. And I think that Call of Duty, if the next three games stay on PlayStation and Xbox as they say they're going to, they have a good shot at making their money back just off of that game alone. Call of Duty Warzone reportedly makes 5.2 million revenue per day. 1,898,000,000, billion dollars off of one game of one of the studios they now own. Uh, because they own Treyarch, Raven Software, Sledgehammer Games, and Infinity Ward. That's four Call of Duty games, essentially, because each one will produce their own Call of Duty game in a cycle of four years. At least that's how they used to do it. That's a lot of money from just that segment. That's not counting World of Warcraft, Diablo, Starcraft, Hearthstone is extremely popular, or at least it was on, on Twitch. Hearthstone, I think I said Hearthstone, anyway. Um, Overwatch is obviously a massive, massive just IP in gaming. Uh, there's now Overwatch 2, apparently. I didn't even know that was gonna happen, but here we are. I will say I'm disappointed to see that Call of Duty will be leaving PlayStation at some point. I just know that's gonna happen. It sucks to see, and I hate it. From a business standpoint though, I can see why Microsoft did it. Uh, they've lost probably the last three console generations in a row to PlayStation, to Sony, and it's not really even been close. So if, if I still played Call of Duty regularly on PlayStation the way I used to, I would be very disappointed and very worried to see this uh, because Call of Duty is a very beloved franchise and it always has been. Uh, to see it lose to the exclusivities that consoles force upon us it's just sad to see you know it, it sucks it's not it's not fun uh but it is a good savvy business move on microsoft's part and uh fuck them for it <laughs> i don't know good luck making it work microsoft you obviously think it will you got activision blizzard at kind of a discount so congratulations there uh what are your thoughts let me know in the comments i, I want to know what you think about this whole thing I just want to make a, a really quick video on it, talking about it and kind of piecing it apart real quick because it's it's very interesting to me that they would do this. And it's going to be really interesting to see what gaming looks like in the next, specifically in the next four years, because that fourth year, we're really going to see what happens with Call of Duty and where we go as a gaming community. 
from there. If you enjoyed this video, don't subscribe. If you like it, thank you for liking. Feel free to dislike, but if you do, no one's going to know anyway, so why bother? And as always, stay frosty and stay humble.